Hi, I'm Martha and this is Mitch and we recently decided to quit our jobs and sell our house to pursue our dream of travelling full time. After Covid got in the way of our previous trip back in 2020, we've been itching to go ever since. This time we plan to travel Europe in our converted VW Transporter and we can't wait to share the journey with you. That's it, we've officially left. Uh, we're currently on the M6. Um, we're on the M1. M1, <laughs> <laughs> Had a little bit of a sad, happy cry um, about five minutes down the road. So that was good. <laughs> that was good. But we're on the uh, M1 going to Boddington. Boddington. Res. So we're going down here and then we're going to stop at an Aldi on the way because we've not got anything in the fridge apart from some steak that mum kindly uh, got us so it should take about about an hour and a half altogether but we're stopping halfway we have chose one of the hottest days of the year though for this it's what would you say like 34 degrees 34 no air con no <laughs> yeah everyone assumed that we had air con in the van and um yeah we don't I mean, the fan is just pumping out hot air so So we just parked up here. We've come the other side of the res. The reservoir's over. Right. I don't know if you can see that. Right over there. Um, but we've come this side. Yeah, there was two sides, so you can either go the opposite side where on park for night it said about some fishermen. That's where the fishermen park and they come early in the morning, which isn't really that much of a bother. Or um you can come this side, but I've got no signal whatsoever which is kind of a little bit annoying because I wanted to it's like five o'clock and I wanted to do some bits and put some stories up about today but Mitch has got some some signal so um we're just gonna yeah set up here and then probably go for a walk around the res too parking now so if we park up there no one who can park next to us okay so we're moving yeah. That was short lived. We can use all this now. Yeah, and it's in the shade more. Yeah. Look at this for a spot. We just met a guy walking back and um, he said, How many is there of you? And we said, Two. And um, he said, Go up, take a right, and there's a space. Mitch has just said something. And he said there's a space for two people and this must be it. But there is green algae, but it's not as bad as it was where we were before, where the ducks were. But it kind of carries on, so. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, be careful, that's a massive fly. Go, just go. Oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't jump. Yeah, good. Oh, if I had a bomb dog, probably would be alright. If I had a bomb. Oh, it's not quite nice. It's quite a soft bottom to it. Oh. Hey, it's well nice. Okay, I'm coming in. I'd hold on to that branch like I did or I should slide. Well, you're going to slide anyway, but... So that was a great little find and it properly cooled us down. Although we've just done the, the walk back and pretty much nearly dry, but um, we're gonna go back now and make some steak.
Mitch is cooking up an absolute storm here. We've got some steak and then in that one, what have we got? Potatoes, broccoli, green beans and mushrooms. This is a nice little setup. We've even got a washing out now. <laughs> well, a wet washing. That's the view. And the reservoir is just there. And there's some lambs over there. But yeah, it's a nice little park up. We're the only ones here. So. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this shit is bussing, bussing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've cleaned up from dinner, which was really nice. And now we think and pray that we're going to get a really nice sunset. It seems like it. So we've got some Prosecco. We're going to go have a little drink by the res to celebrate our first night. <laughs> Look at that. My quilt. Your quilt. I don't think we'll need both tonight. No. You're <sighs> Cozy as. there is space but unfortunately someone down there is parked in the middle of the of the path I don't know if you can see I was there but yeah someone's parked in the middle of the path so basically stopping anyone else from going so any further and me and Mitch have just had to use the trucks for the first time and we've had to <laughs> we've had to double stack them but it looks all right She'll do, she'll do. Hopefully that's okay. But the other side is actually a golf course, which is really pretty. Um, but unfortunately, because we couldn't go up there because of the other people, it means that there's the, the sea wall in front, but. There's a breeze as well. Though. Yeah, the breeze is a lot colder. Show us. It's nice, the sea's a bit brown, but we can't wait to go. So Mitch has come up with one of his <laughs> stupid games <laughs> and it's like bringing a toddler to the beach. Toddling at this time. Okay. Oh! You've not even got close with one yet. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I'm actually the beast. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> that was unreal. <laughs> So we didn't film anything this morning as um, quite frankly we were a little bit groggy after staying up late last night for the thunderstorm that came over. Oh it's not the bell. We 
but we ended up doing our first ever workout, which was pretty tough, but um, yeah, we did that. Getting on ferry to France. Jeez. Don't look very excited. I am. I'm just waiting now. Oh wow. Oh, which way did we go? <laughs> And we're about to do the first big fill up in the van. We've just had to quickly Google what the name of diesel was over here. It's that one there, Gazol, Gazol. And um, Mitch had a quick look on an app to see which one was the cheapest around. And That's even cheaper than what it said on there. What's it saying it is? 1919. 1919, which will convert, but it's a lot cheaper than the UK at the moment, so we're really glad that we waited for here instead of getting some before we left uh, to Dover this morning, so. So it turns out we've hit the spend limit. Well, just so. off. Oh! It's 150 the spend limit is. And that's a full tank? Yeah. And it wasn't even all the way down. Well, that's something to take note of, but yeah. Pretty impressed with that price considering we were only about 10 minutes away from Calais. We've just rocked up at the place that we're staying tonight. It's on the outskirts of a place called Abbeville, which is somewhere that my nan recommended to us. There's not a lot going on at the campsite to be honest. There's a building over there that's quite nice and Martha's making beef ravioli. How does it look? I think it's done. Okay, but we just found that in Lidl. We wanted a quick and easy meal tonight, as we have come quite late. Yeah, it's quite tonight. But we're starving. So I've done that really like you. Okay. And that's it for today's video. We really hope you enjoyed seeing the first glimpse of van life. In our next video, we'll be exploring France as we encounter our first big obstacle along the way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really supports our channel. See you in the next one.